All right, so this is gonna be an interesting video. Going slow is fast. Going fast is not really that fast. This is something that I find that a lot of students have problems with. And so that's kind of like what this video is gonna be about. If you're going fast while you're backing up, chances are you're gonna have to go forward and backwards, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards a lot because you're turning the wheel and you're trying to do stuff and everything's happening really, really quick. And you're gonna lose control of that trailer pretty quick. And that's if you don't hit anything. God forbid it hit something because now things are gonna be really slow because now you have to call somebody, you have to file a report, plus you cause damage. Maybe you need a repair, maybe you need to get towed. Who knows? But it wasn't fast because you used the gas. It's now really slow because something happened really fast. So if you go slow and you have really good control of the trailer because you can see what's going on, you have a lot of time to react because you're not trying to go fast, you're probably going to be able to hit the dock on the first time, maybe the second time, but you're not going fast. So even though that you're idling the truck, you're going to hit the dock faster than you would if you're using the gas. See, that, that's something that a lot of students don't get. If you go slow, it's better. Now, as you get better, you could go faster. But that takes time. Until you have that experience, you need to go slow. Very slow. Like, idling slow. And you'll get better at it. Now, another prime example of going fast versus slow is when you're coming up to your stop or the shipper, the receiver, or in my case, a Walmart. Going fast and trying to rush to get there, you're probably gonna miss your turn. And then that means now you gotta figure out how to get back to wherever you need to get to, to get your stop off or to pick up or drop whatever you're trying to do. So because you're trying to go fast, now you miss your turn. I always find myself trying to tell my students to slow down. If you have to, use your flashers. I don't care if you have to come to a stop, if it's safe to do so. I mean, don't stop on the train track, don't stop in the middle of an intersection. I mean, come on now. Don't be stupid. If you can pull off to the side of the road, pull off to the side of the road. But you should know where you're going. You're a professional driver. You should look up your end destination. You know, type in the address before you can start driving. Take a look, figure out what you need to do before you even get there. Because going slow, taking that extra second, makes you faster. It allows you to know what you need to do when you get there. So, the biggest tip, if you're gonna be getting on my truck, don't worry about going fast. If you get on somebody else's truck, the biggest tip I hope they give you is don't worry about going fast. Go slow. It is faster than trying to go fast. Um, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of people that wanna say, you know, whatever down in the comment section about this video saying, you know, that's common sense or this, that, or whatever, who knows. But when you're in the truck, and you're trying to drive, you don't realize you're go you're going fast. You're also trying to do it the way the mentor did it, the way the mentor can do it so easy, so fast. You have to realize doing it fast is not the way to do it. We did it slow, and we learned over time how to be faster than slow but we still do it slow per skill, if that makes sense. Anyway, this is a short video. Um, I hope that's pretty self-explanatory. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, rate, and subscribe. See you guys on the next one.